Um, hello? Yes. Hi. Um, so I just had the second, um, I'm going to cut right to the point. What is your name? I'm sorry, ma'am. Hi. My name's Heidi. Okay. I'm Sharon. Hi. Hi. Go ahead. Can I just ask your name so I can say it pro properly? What is the name, ma'am? Sharon. Sharon. All right. Thank you, ma'am. My name's Heidi. Um, and what is your position here at this clinic? This is a community response team. This is not a clinic. Okay, and your position at this... Can uh, I ask you, how can I help you? You can help me by telling me what your position is, please. Sharon. I'm an employee here at the community response team, and I'm taking the call. All right. So, Thank you. Uh, what's going on, Heidi? How are you doing today? I'm great. I'm great. Glad that you um are asking. So this is the issue. I would like to find out why you keep coming to my door. Um, the concern your is. Address, all right. Let me find out who. What's your address? Okay. I'll get to that, but just bear with me. The woman here who left a note. Something mm -hmm. don't. Thank you. Something. Uh, What's her name? Yes, I'm getting to that. Something D O R Y. And something Dory. Emmanuel, okay, and some. Dory and Emmanuel. All right, that's what I can see scribbled here. So, okay. they're not able to tell me the concern, or to tell me who is calling and voicing this concern, and so that is my primary question. Why are you so coming to my door? Let me put you in touch with a supervisor and see if they can tell you that information because I'm not at liberty to give you that information. So can you hold on, please? Yes, thank you. All right, thank you. Speaking. Yeah, can I have your number? The supervisor is going to call you back and she can explain everything to you, okay? Um, for confidentiality, I'm just going to go ahead and stick to my boundaries. I'm not going to give your number out so it, she can call you back. Right. Can we do this another way? Is there a hold way? Hold on one second. Well, just, if you can hold on because she's finishing up something. If you want to stay on hold, I promise you she's going to pick the phone up, okay? I'd be obliged. All right. Thank you.
Yes, good morning. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm, I'm transferring you to her now. Thank you. Hi, good morning. Hi, how are you? I'm good. May I ask who I'm speaking with, please? This is Tyrese McAllister. I'm a supervisor. All right. Are you a doctor or a nurse or something of this relative? I'm a licensed clinician. Okay, great. Just wanted to know. Um, so, first of all, why? who is calling you and voicing such strong concern that's prompting your staff to come to my door. Um, can you, and if you can't tell me who, can you please tell me what the concern is? Um, did you see the team um, when they came out? No, it's not necessary. I'm just going to call you. And if I need to, I'll go personally in. I would like to know what this concern is, please. Um, well, have you called 911 a couple of times? For valid reason, is that why you're coming to my door? Well, is this... Let me ask you. Let me ask you a couple of questions. Absolutely. So you called nine one one repeatedly. Mm hmm. Right. And can you tell me why you've been calling nine one one? Okay. Um. One time there was a drug sale upstairs. Another time, I mean, this is just the criminal activity. I could list to you the criminal activity I've witnessed here. So, uh, is that what you'd like me to do for you? Is this the I just want to know the reasons why you called 911. Okay. Um, <clears throat> the last time I called 911, the lessor here, the landlord, came to my door and pounded so hard on my door. It was completely uncalled for. And um, I was in here alone. And it was the second time that he had carried out that behavior of just coming up the stairs and just raging with his hand, boom, 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 on my door. And it was totally uncalled for. So the second time that he did that. Do you that, know why he knocked on the door? Yes, he would stand out there, along with pounding on the door. He would stand. I mean, do you know why he was knocking on your door? Yes, I'm answering that. He would stand out there and rail on and on, yelling and shouting about the trash not being properly set into the garbage can in the kitchen. This was his concern that he was pounding on my door and screaming outside of my door about. So by the second time he did the same thing, I said, screw this, I'm gonna call the cops on the guy. What does it take to get the lessor to stop pounding on my door? So that is the first reason why I called 911, all right? Well, if if somebody knocks on your door and you answer it, then... He wasn't knocking. Okay. Okay, so maybe he knocked loud, but I mean, when you answer the door... Ma'am. I mean, usually people pound when, they, when Th they're not answered. Thank you, ma'am, for, for your opinion, all right? But he wasn't knocking loud or knocking at all. And I just don't want to get into that with you. I want to keep things, you know, amicable and I want to keep things on a, a, a friendly basis. I just okay. was seeking information of if you can't tell me who was calling with this, you know, concern they well, have. you want to tell me, I mean, there's several concerns listed here. So that's All why right. I'm trying to get your side of the story. All right. So the first one is why are you calling 911? Right. I answered that. Because somebody's selling drugs upstairs? No, I put that on the uh, DCPD tips line. I've been tipping the cops off for months about the stuff I've seen and heard and smelled in this house. I'm, I'm in the process of moving out of this house. So I just wanted to know the concern because if there's a concern, ma'am, I'm, you know, interested in resolving that. And, um... I'm, so I'm trying to help you, so I'm asking you okay. the reasons you have multiple calls to 911. 
All right. So that's the primary concern. Is this why you guys are coming to my door? That's not it. No, it's several. Okay. So if you'd like to go further, this can be an exchange and I can help you understand. Understand? But it's not going to be a one-sided conversation. No, I, I certainly don't want that. I want to have this resolved. Would you would you like um, me to send you any email correspondence? or How can we really resolve this so that everybody feels there's no... Um, because what I'm getting the impression is that somebody, you won't tell me who, is afraid that I will be violent or I would be violent towards myself. And I am telling you now, I am not in any manner thinking or at all in that headspace. What I'm doing is in the process of moving out of here. I don't want to hurt myself or anybody in this house. So if this is a concern, let's resolve that now. All right. Do you have any more questions? No, I would like to uh, have a two-sided conversation. If you didn't feel that we were, I, I really, really am reaching out to you. I just, I don't, okay. I don't. So my my yeah. question was, I got reports here that you've called 911 multiple times. Okay. I've also got reports that you've not paid rent in two months. Oh, no, this is not true. My mom paid the rent last month, so that's not even true. The rent is currently up to date. Okay, and that your, you believe your neighbor is chopping up bodies and um, pushing them down the toilet? I never said I believe beyond reasonable about that, no. No, I've never said that, like, delusionally, I believe. No, 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 no. I have the right to my opinion. I have the right to say whatever I want within the context of an opinion. If these are your okay. guys' concerns, this is why I'm glad we're having dialogue. Okay? Are you at risk of being evicted? No. See, this is another thing. I'm glad you're asking. I have already filed a court date at the Superior Courthouse for tenant violations, housing codes. Um, I'm scheduling for a scheduling hearing. And this is all I've asked is that the landlord um, make basic repairs. He's already been cited through the city for having an illegal boarding house. So the, the house you guys are coming to is cited now and fined um, through the city inspector's department as an illegal boarding house. He doesn't have a, a business license or any of these things for liability or any of it. So I'm definitely moving out, but all I'm trying to get him to do is be adult and prove to me the utility bills because like he gets the utility bills, but won't give me any proof of what he's asking me to pay. It's real basic stuff. And so if he's going to refuse to do that, this is like gonna land right into civil court and I'm just gonna schedule for a scheduling hearing and we're gonna work it out. If he doesn't wanna do it just like an adult would with me because all I've asked is Russ show me what I owe legally man you can't just write down a number on a piece of paper this that doesn't work like that and he refuses to do that he refuses to make repairs he's been cited through the city as an illegal business and all the above so this is what I'm trying to find out is what the concern is ma'am do you have a mental health diagnosis? No. Have you ever been in a hospital for any mental health reasons? No. Has anybody ever talked to you about you um, being paranoid or suspicious or anything? No. Nobody's ever talked to you about that? No. I'm not paranoid and I'm not suspicious. Okay, know, this nobody's my question is did anybody ever talk to you about it? Not if you are, no, does anybody talk to you about no. it? Okay, all right. So when the team comes out, just speak to them and let them know. The, the team, mm -hmm. 
what team? The community response team. Okay, so they already were here. This was the Dory Emanuel. Did they talk? Did they talk to you? Yes, I asked them to please politely leave a card, and I would rather, for confidentiality purposes, speak directly to somebody like you, which I am now to well, find this out. Is not considered, this is not considered an assessment. You were calling to get information, right? I'm. F so when the team comes back, speak to them so that they can close your case. Otherwise, they'll just keep coming. Oh, they'll just keep coming to my door? Yep. Based on what? A report that we have. A report that you have. So, if you're saying you're okay, just talk to the team face to face so they can make their findings and close the case. Okay, so that's the basis is I have to open my door and legally speak to them face to face to get yep. you to stop disturbing me yep okay and you can't tell me at all who is making these concerns but some 911 the city of Washington DC has made this report we have calls that you call the 911 repeatedly okay Okay, I see. All right. That helps me, gives me clarity on some of this. Okay, so that gives you the legal right to just come and keep knocking on my door. No, we don't want to keep knocking on your door. We want to talk to you. And once you talk to us, we'll go away. Okay. And you want to talk to me about what would they talk to me about that would be oh, different? Oh, my God. Are you, ma'am? Mm-hmm. Talk to them. All right. Okay. Why okay. Are you afraid to talk to them? Because I have no need to talk to a clinical staff, ma'am. I have absolutely okay, no need. Wrong. You don't have a mental illness. You don't have any symptoms, and everything's fine. I don't understand what, what the issue is. Neither do I. That's just why. Answer their questions. Just answer their questions, and they could be gone, and we can be done with this. Okay, that's what you're saying. So thank you for that information. And at least I have clarity into why you are constantly knocking on my door. I do appreciate have that. Have they been constantly knocking? Yes, this is the second time that How you're... How do you know it's the second time? Because I have them leave CODs. So I have two different CODs. This is now three different staff members that have All left right. two different CODs. They keep coming right. into my door. And at the second... If you don't want them to keep coming, just answer the door and talk to them. It's, just, it's very simple. You know what I'll do? I'm going to personally come into your clinic. I think that would be better. We don't have a clinic. Okay. What are my alternatives then? Then opening the door and all this sort of scenario that would close this case. I don't know. I don't know, ma'am. Just... I don't know. I don't you know what I'll do? I'm going to research that because there's got to be alternatives. Uh -huh. There's got to be okay. options. And then we can okay. finally if close this case. Time for that, oh, I do. Time for that, help you, help yourself. Okay, so I thank you. Talk to them, actually. No. I mean, it's up to you. It's fine. I know it's up to me. And I appreciate your conversation today. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay. Have a great weekend. You too, ma'am. Bye-bye.